Planet Zoo has been rated E10 by the ERSRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is approved for all players age 10 and up. Hey there, folks. This is Jack. Welcome back to the zoo. Um, I have been assured, assured by multiple sources that the bugs have been fixed and it is now safe again to play franchise mode. I have been itching to play franchise mode. To be honest, I find the lack of challenge in sandbox mode to be a little boring. Sure, it's cool to be able to build whatever the hell you want, but it's it's just there's it's easy mode and I, I don't like doing it. So I'm starting a brand new zoo from the bottom and it's going to be a franchise zoo which as you know means we're going to be bare bones to start but as we gain money we'll be able to start filling things out and redesigning things and you know making it all fancy. So here we are at the entrance and I'm going to do a little alteration on the paths. I, I almost always never use that path because it's kind of boring. What do I want here? Do I want red brick? Red brick's cool. Herringbone. Hmm. No, I don't want uh, wood. Wood is for path, uh, interior of buildings and things like that. Gravel. Gravel's good. Small gravel. Seashells. Just gravel, gravel. Gravel, 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 gravel. I'm on a hamburger. Okay. Here we go. By the way, if you hear a dog in the background, that's Robin. My mom got him for Christmas. She's been wanting a dog for a while. So she bought, her, bought herself one as a, as a personal Christmas present to herself. Robin's a chihuahua. He also doesn't like my brother Nathan. So every time my brother Nathan comes within 10 feet, he acts like Nathan's going to kill everybody. Because, hey, why not? i going to run this out a little. Find out where the power is, and then we'll mark it. This is not going to be precise or even any, anywhere close to straight. So everything in that little broken line has power automatically. So I don't need to build generators and such. But this being franchise mode, you do have to play the game. So you will have to eventually build uh, generators in other places. Now, um, I'm going to put down what we, we have. We now have $39,885.35. We got 22 grand in conservation credits because I've been saving up during the, the, the bug problem. Let's build some facilities. Now, We need these f facilities if we're going to work the zoo. The first thing we need is we need an animal treating center. And I'm putting them right there. Back this up to the borderline and then we're going to come out some. Say we have to we have to get it far enough away from the guests. Guests don't like uh, uh, zoo facilities. Which personally I think is ridiculous. Cause I've never had a problem seeing a, a keeper hut in in a zoo, a, a keeper area in a zoo, or an office or whatever. But hey, it, the game is what it is, right? And then we'll get a workshop for mechanic research. And 
a veterinary research uh, building. As you know, we're going to do some of that. Let's see, we're also going to need a hospital and a quarantine. put down two staff offices because always never th th there never seems to be enough of these and I'm going to wait until we do our first habitat to put down a keeper out of because I prefer to have keeper huts be right next to the animals okay Well, when I use brown, I usually use brown, but you know what? I'm just going to go with the, the initial blue. Okay, make sure all the all the staff buildings are connected. This is our initial staff facility. It looks good. We'll put clothing on those buildings soon enough. In the meantime, speaking of staff, let's pick some up. Okay, we are going to need a caretaker. We're going to need a keeper. And a mechanic. We can get away with not having a security officer for a little while, so I'm going to do that. I, you never hire vendors because they come with the shops, veterinarian, and an educator. Okay. Now we have 24,600 some odd. There, what I want to do is I want to create a distinct area over here. Um, right now I'm just calling it the Asian Trail. Um, I know what, uh, uh, I know what animals are going to be on it and it's going to be off in this direction. So I'm going to put out another, another path, two, three, and to curve it because curves are good, four, five, six, Seven. And a little curve in and out, but we'll figure we, we, we'll figure out how to deal. Okay, let me check the animals I have in storage. African penguins to be expected. American bison, California sea lions, cheetah, Asian animals. Emu. For Asian animals, what I got is a whole bunch of African animals. Well, let's see if I can't get a couple.
yeah, let's get let's get this guy. He's not perfect, but he's he looks pretty good. Then we'll get this guy, this girl. Lot of leopards. We're gonna start our our, our Asian uh, section of the zoo, which is gonna be all over here, with cloud leopards because I'm like. I, I was thinking, you know what? Let's just go big or go home. So, uh, let's look at clouded leopards. All right, one to two, which is good. I've got a male and female pair. Okay, they need 645 square meters of land requirement. They need 135 square meters of climbing, no water, no depth. Okay, there is a, a, a blueprint I always like to use. I'm going to use it in this zoo. And that's this. It's basically size guidelines for the zoo. I'm going to just put it out here and then what, what we'll do is we'll do this now. Grab the 500. 500's a nice size. It's going to be relatively large uh, habitat. This is basically going to be the space that makes up the, uh, the clouded leopard habitat. Um, I believe in always giving the animals more space than they need. So anyway, guys, um, th this is franchise mode and I am going to be using, uh, I'm going to be using time lapse on the builds just to save some you know, it, it, so it doesn't get boring for you guys. So I will be right back, okay? I'm tempted to just do it all on screen. What do you think? Should I do it time lapse or just do it all on screen? Because if I do it all on screen, it'll take a couple. It'll take a couple. Heck with it. I'm gonna do it all on screen. Um, what kind of barriers do they need? They need grade two climb proof. Okay, so. Chain link should work or steel mesh. Like that. Because that's, that's grade four and I can make it climb proof. All right. I like that creeping, that, that creaking sound it gives when I lay it down. It's like, oh yeah, this is what it would sound like if you were actually laying down this much uh, steel mesh. Yeah, okay. It's an interesting detail. All right. Okay, that's the rough outline. So I can get rid of these guys now. Here's a rough outline of the... Uh, uh, Cloud leopard habitat. 
I'm gonna adjust this path. I want it to have a little distance from the path to the uh, to the animals. I mean, you know, I'm gonna put a second fence in there because you don't want people sticking their hands through the the steel mesh and have have their fingers bitten off by the cat, right? What I'm thinking about doing is when I replace the steel mesh, making the back wall of the uh, keeper hut a part of the um, part of the habitat border. I've seen that done a lot of times, and I think it's good a, a good idea. get it parallel and the thing goes no no we're gonna knock it off center I hate this game sometimes. I don't really you know I you can tell I've got like almost 10,000 hours built up with this game I know the peccadillos it's hard to get things perfect okay And there we go. We're going to bring that path. Okay, here's the setup. Let's get the staff path connected. No, thank you. Okay, now this is going to be our very first habitat. People should come in as soon as the, as soon as the clouded leopards hit the uh, hit the habitat. Okay, cats are on their way. Clouded. Leopards. M mechanics every three months. Veterans every month. Keeper every month. Good, good, good. Okay, so this is a big, uh, a big blank. We need to fill with stuff that'll make the uh, clouded leopards happy.
Oh shit, you know what I just thought of? Let's edit this real quick. Let's make this three meters tall on average and climb proof on both sides. Okay, now. See, the guests are already here. I find a blueprint for a water pipe. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, Asia tropical temperate. I like using these because they add they add just a little bit of um, vegetation to it. It's a good start for your for your habitat. Got to make sure that's accessible, otherwise they'll, they'll die of thirst while you think that everything is fine. Let's get him a climbing frame. This is this blueprint is called the Big Cat Jungle Gym, and you know what? I like it. So let's, uh, let's see about fitting it in somewhere. Do I have the money for it? Not barely. Um, that's a bit much. Dead trees for primates and big cats created by Caesar Creates. will work. It's got lots of climbing surfaces, plus it's got an area that I can put bedding down in and turn it into a, a, a sleeping zone. Okay. That's actually enough, uh, enough climbing. Is it raining? It is raining. There goes my mom's dog again. He barks at them at a moment's notice. He's a sweet puppy. He really is. He's just, he has to learn that he's not a Doberman pincher. That'll do it for this session of Planet Zoo. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like and subscribe button. 
Leave a comment down below if you want to contact me. I always answer comments. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. There was a solution, you could be a part of it. There's a revolution, you could be the start of it. Better get a move on while there's still a chance of it. If there's no improvement, this could be the last of it. Nature was a haven, now we need saving. No more conversation, time for conservation. We all got a part to do to help the world go through. But you, you gotta build a zoo. This is the law of the jungle, as old and as true as the sky. The forest protected shall prosper, the forest neglected shall die. You've an aptitude to change attitudes, cause we have to prove it. That's right, it's too. Grab your shovel. Let's work to do the world's in trouble. You gotta be